the diagram that they put on top of these shifters or on your dash or something uh, right off the bat go ahead and either rip that out or put a piece of tape over it because you will never use that diagram because what I'm about to tell you you ready there's actually 24 gears here Well guys, right now we're in Ellsworth, Kansas. We are loaded up with a load of meat coming out of um, Dodge City, Kansas. Yeah, we still got Opie back there. So right now this load is running up to Dakota City, Nebraska, which is up in that Sioux City, Iowa area. And then after that, we're going to uh, go home and watch Little Bud's game. I'm hoping we should be able to get back in time to watch Little Bud's soccer game. Um, today, I'm going to answer another question. It, I've answered it before in the past, and I do apologize for you longtime subscribers out there because you're going to be like, oh, here we go again. But uh, I, I get a lot of questions about my shifting. I really do. And I'm going to try to get a little bit more detail today in, into the shifting of First Class. First Class is a, a 2000 Kenworth W900 with a C16 Caterpillar engine in it and an 18 speed Eaton Fuller in it. No, it would just be Eaton I think. And she's running on uh, 355 rears. Okay, so the, the shifting stuff though, I know, I know guys, you're rolling your head, you're rolling your eyes going, oh, we've covered this. But it's just easier just to make a video every once in a while about this. That way I can actually film myself shifting and not worry about getting 50,000 questions on it. Because well, most of you guys will have the answers then. So let's cover a few things. Actually, you know what? Let's just go do some trucking. And then uh, later on in the day, we will cover the whole shifting part. That work for you guys? All right, let's get on the road.
Alrighty guys, we are just past Seward, Nebraska up here on uh, Interstate 80 rolling east. Things are going really good so far. Um, you guys have seen me um, shifting through the gears, uh, coming down a little bit through the gears and uh, kind of messing around with the shifter a little bit. I, I know, like I said earlier, this is uh, something I've covered before. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to try to get the camera in a little bit better angle and I'm going to try to walk through the gears with you as much as I can. Basically, first class is a Kenworth W900 and it has an 18-speed Fuller transmission in it. Now, if you wanted to actually sit there and count the gears with me, I suppose I can try doing that, but realistically, all your numbers are going to be off because it's not a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on up to 18. Um, if you look at like a, a shift got diagram for an 18 speed fuller, you're gonna see one through eight, and the tallest gear you're gonna see is eighth gear, I think. But each, where you go? Camaro. Each gear has, uh, each gear on an 18 speed has a, okay. Let's take first gear for for instance. First gear would start, you'd go first gear, but then in that one gear, come on open. In that one gear, you're going to have four, right? First, high, okay, yeah, one. Yeah, because you're gonna have high, low in first gear, and then high, low, which would be uh, uh, sixth gear. So it's really hard to explain it in number wise. I actually had to put the camera down and think about that for a second because as you're driving it, you're never looking at the gears or at the, the numbers, you know? I don't even have the numbers in my truck. So if you actually got inside my truck and you did not know how to drive it, uh, there's nothing to look at on how to drive it. In the wise of what RPMs I shift at, that's another thing. I never look at my, my tack when I'm shifting. Luckily, I have a, you know, a, a C16 Caterpillar underneath the hood with six-inch straight pipes. I can hear that engine. I can either hear it or I can feel it. So that's when I know how when I need to shift versus the tack. But we are going to try to use the tack, and I will tell you guys exactly when I'm shifting. Right now, it's a little breezy out. I'm sure I'm getting a lot of wind through the camera. Good part is I think that wind muff for this camera is sitting at the house waiting for me. So luckily. We can get rid of all that wind. Well, I'll let the camera focus in. Guys, this is my shifter right here. Okay, here's your, you want the exact name of everything? Splitter, splitter. I think this is called the high-low, and that's called the, well, the high-low as well. <laughs> all right, so what it simply does, though, is this one splits each individual gear. This one goes from your high side to your low side. Your high side, your low side is your one, two, three, four and then you're gonna flip it up you know you're gonna get your five six seven eight and then all the way over is your low side a lot of people don't call that low low gear first gear a lot of them call it low which the proper term is low versus me I always say first so we're not gonna go through the no we, we will go through the numbers a little bit as much as we can um, you're gonna have to put up with just a little bit of, uh, of tire chatter or tire shake in the video because I have not gotten my new drive tires on and well let's just say we got all the goodie worked out of those drive tires. So let's go ahead, get started, get this part of it done. Um, we're not going to make Little Bud's game, well we are going to make Little Bud's game, but we're going to, luckily it's in Ottawa, Iowa which is right along Interstate 29 and we're going to be able just to stop at the truck stop, have Warden come out and get me, take me to the game and then we'll get back in the truck and finish our day out. So right now, let's let's try to get this whole gear thing done. That way, I can answer your guys' questions. Alrighty, one thing you guys are going to recognize is when I uh, go through my gears. Once I get to the high side, I usually put it in gear, pull it out of gear, split the gear, and then uh, put it back in gear. Um, you're going to wonder why I do that. I was taught that many many years ago when I was shifting. Um, in my head, I kind of believe it actually does do something to actually help things. But usually you can just let off on the accelerator 
and then uh, push back on the accelerator and it will start to uh, it will shift him to the next gear after you split it sometimes it won't though so that can get kind of annoying so I just always do it this way and it's just just the way I'm doing it so just to answer that question it is not needed you do not have to do it but it's just a plus on how to do it all right right now this is what you would call low gear I always start off in low gear when I'm loaded. It's just every once in a while you guys will see I'm starting off in um, first gear, I guess, the next gear up. But low gear when you're starting, you just really barely have to touch the clutch. So technically this would be your first gear, your second gear, your third gear. Hope you guys can hear me okay. We really haven't tried this. That would be fourth gear. In my head, that's fifth gear, but if you look at the diagram, that's fourth gear. Now I split it. You see how I split that up? We're gonna go to the high side. The diagram would say this is fifth, but we're gonna get off the diagram now because we're gonna go by what I go. This is sixth gear. Did you see me flip the small one on my thumb? That went up to seventh gear. Now I'm pulling it back. My head, we're in eighth gear. Up, up, ninth gear. There we're in tenth. Right now, we're getting that shake I was telling you about. I get that shake in between 40 and 45 mile an hour. It's that tires. I got to get those tires on. Okay, what gear did I say we were in? Count with me. There we go. Now we're up to our next gear. See my thumb right there? That's that little splitter. That's the big splitter. Once you flip this once, you're never flipping again. Well, not the rest of the time. As for RPMs, I'm taking my RPMs. Uh, this is a little bit heavier load, so I'm taking the RPMs up to around that uh, 1500 mark. It, it's usually around 1450 to 1500. Now we're just going to final out. There was 15. You guys are super bright on the side of my face, so I'm sorry about that. But that is 15th gear right there. Now you're wondering, you still have three gears left, right? 18 speed. No, reverse. Remember, reverse has three gears. Here's your 15, 16, 17, 18 in reverse. So right there is uh, just a little bit on how you shift. Now we're, let's just head down the road. Um, our record a little bit more shifted, but and we'll go through them one more time a little bit later on today, okay? Be back with you in a little bit. Guys, we have made it to uh, 
Ottawa, Iowa. Luckily, Bud's game is here. Warden's going to come pick us up on her way to the game. Warden's the coach. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that. Warden is little Bud's coach. Um, she's been Bud's and uh, Paige's, Paige and Troy's coaches ever since they started soccer many years ago. Because she played soccer all the way through high school and actually was offered a scholarship to play co soccer in college, but decided not to take that. Just a few more things on this whole shifting thing. Um, yes. I watched a couple videos before I decided to um, really make this video and talk about it a lot. Um, a couple videos kind of made me realize why you guys always leave a comment in here on why I, uh, I shift smooth or the smoothest shifter you've seen. Because after I watched those videos, I was... I was sad. I was like, oh no, there, there's people training people how to shift an 18 speed like that. There was one guy, you see this right here? He was promoting not using that at all. He actually said, you do not have to use that until you are in the last hole, then you can shift it and split it up. And basically he has a 10 speed with an overdrive similar to that area. So he he obviously has the wrong transmission in the truck for what he's driving. Um, another guy had talked about um, hmm yeah we don't need to talk about that but both of them had something in common and I've seen it in the past watching other drivers drive on YouTube that, that one thing that just makes my skin crawl I don't know why it does but it just does when you shift the truck guys okay let's see what gear okay we can go into this gear right now sitting here when you shift the truck one finger I mean you don't have to use one finger you can use a couple but that's all it takes to go up into gear no matter if your truck has um, brand new transmission no matter if your truck has uh, a million miles on it that's all you need to do right there um, what I recognize a lot of guys do is they get about right there then they slam it in gear you know and you hear that right now you guys can hear it popping but that's just because I'm shifting the truck and the trucks not moving but a lot of guys they get right here and you can hear it in the background too if you're listening on some videos you hear kink 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 in between each gear you shouldn't hear that just nice and smooth you know the gentleman who taught me how to drive or taught me how to shift per se you know he, he used the analogy you know it's like you're you know, finessing a beautiful woman or finessing your wife, you know, you, you don't want to just be like, whap, you know, upside the head. You want to just be gentle, you know, you don't want to get too brutal with that. So that was one thing that kind of, that just drives me nuts. Because no matter if you have a, a Caterpillar engine, a Cummins engine, Detroit, any of the engines, you can shift fast still without slamming it into gear. You can shift fast without being uh, what they call a gear jammer. You know, you don't have to jam it into gear. You can just just baby it into gear. But a big thing to my shifting style is take your time. Um, if you're at a busy intersection, there's trucks all over the place, cars all over the place, quit using your mirrors. Don't even look in your mirrors. Just shift your truck. If it takes you two miles to get up the speed. Yes, I'm sorry I stopped debating. If it takes you two miles to get up to speed, it takes you two miles to get up to speed. Do not race your truck just for somebody else behind you. The diagram that they put on top of these shifters or on your dash or something, uh, right off the bat, go ahead and either rip that out or put a piece of tape over it because you will never use that diagram. Because what I'm about to tell you, you ready? There's actually 24 gears here. There's not 18, there's actually 24. Granted, you're not going to shift your uh, your first gear, what they call your low gear, and your reverse four times. But the rest of them you can shift four times. Um, you may think you, you may not use those lower side gears. You know, when I say lower side, this is down and you can still use this. You can still split each one of those gears in the low range. And you're thinking, why would you use that? Heck, the guy that was telling you never to use this. I, poof. There's some serious shift in there, hard shifting on that truck. You can use that. If you watched my video from two videos ago, 
you seen me Opie, seriously man come on you seen me uh, shift well I turned at that road construction there and I had to go straight up that hill I split every single though every single one of those low gears so I love you too I really do you're very needy right now though yes you are it's very windy out or we'd be outside talking very very windy as in I have 36,000 pounds in the box and it was still rocking my world going down the interstate <clears throat> so just a few tips there um, that's how I shift if you guys want to talk about coming down uh, it's not worth even talking about you can go back down the same way you went up if you want um, if you're on like an interstate 29 here in Iowa and it's flat and you're coming up to your exit throw it in neutral I, there's a lot of guys that went to trucking school or went to all kinds of school they're telling you neutral why would you throw it in neutral that means your trucks out of control you don't have it in gear of course don't throw it in neutral if you're going down a mountain or a hill that's just common sense but if you're just rolling into the exit and stuff throw it in neutral there's no reason in shifting all the way down and using up that fuel that you don't need to use um, you actually will save a lot of fuel just coasting the truck well not a lot but you're saving enough to actually be happy about right <clears throat> So basically guys I know I'm being long-winded with the whole thing but that is one thing that I'm extremely passionate about is driving a truck smoothly you know you're shifting you're turning you're gearing up you're stopping doing everything exactly as smooth as you possibly can because that's about the only way you can get away from being I guess considered a gear jammer I, I don't know what the definition of a gear jammer is but after watching a couple videos I think I have my ideas of what a gear jammer is. It's just, it's just brutal on shifting. As of right now though, hey Warden, um, mm -hmm. little buds back there, are you ready for some soccer? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to watch some soccer too. We're undefeated so far. Undefeated. This is our third or four, third. Our third game and we're undefeated so far. Yep. See if we can keep that going. Yep. Alrighty, let's go watch some soccer. Hi mom. Hi. How are you? So far, so good. Hi, Millie. Hi, Princess. Yeah, Opie's in the car. He doesn't like people, or he doesn't like kids, so Tori he stays in the car. You You're a hyper dog. <laughs> no, she's not. She's just As I say that, she lays down on the floor. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm hyper, huh? Look at this. Let's see. All right, where's Dad? He's with uh, Paige at shooting practice. Shooting practice today North for of her. North Denison. Yep. Okay, so she's at shooting practice with Grandpa. We're here to watch some soccer. Atticus, come forward a little bit. There you go. Get it, Troy. Got lucky there. That's one heck of a soccer match. They actually won it. They they won it. They got another victory under the belt. Yeah, technically we don't keep track of scores, but uh, the kids do. The kids do. Trust me. But yeah, they uh, they won it. And guys, I can't film during a game. Holy smokes! I, I, I try not to yell because it goes straight into the camera. It gets hard not to yell at those games. Like cheer, cheer them on, you know. Holy smokes. All right, well, let's go get rid of this trailer. I'm, I'm tired of it being behind us. What do you say? Let's get going. I've rambled enough today. You guys keep yourself safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.
or no, this right here too. They get right there, then they go bam. Oh, shoot. Well, 